How's it going, my fellow hunters? Dragon Hunter here with our very first Battlefield 4 weapon review. That is awesome! We're gonna be starting a whole new series. It's gonna be awesome! Now, anyways, the first weapon we're gonna be doing a review on is the M416. Now, the M416, a lot of people don't realize, is the one of the first weapons that you get as the assault class. And a lot of people don't realize the assault class is a medic class. But we'll get into what? that one into a different series. Now, the M416 is like any other assault rifle. It has the same base damage model like anyone else for the assault class, except for the Bulldog and the Scar Age. Now, its maximum damage is 25 and its minimum is 18, which means you have to put a minimum of 4 to 5 bullets into your enemy to be able to drop them at any range, really. And it sucks to have to have that many bullets go down range to be able to take down a target. It'd be much funner to have one bullet, like, say, a sniper rifle. But that's a recall. We'll get into that one a little bit later. Now, this weapon's fire rate is at 750 rounds per minute. Holy crap, that's a lot of bullets. Now, the muzzle velocity for it is, is 600 meters per second, which means they are going to be basically laser beams all the way from two to 300 meters, which means as soon as you pull that trigger, that bullet hits a more or less. But if you have a suppressor on that gun, it means you're going to be dropped your bullet velocity, which means your range is going to drop substantially. And what the suppressor does makes it so that it hides you from being seen on the minimap and being heard around other enemies. But we'll get to that part a little bit later in a different episode. But with a suppressor, the muzzle velocity drops to 320 meters per second. Now, that may be a lot, but all it means is that you have to aim up a little higher above your target to take them out with that gun. The magazine size for this gun is 30 rounds per magazine. That is substantially a lot of blood to have to launch down range. And if you have that one bullet in the chamber, you makes it so you have 31. Now, the reload time for this gun, without any bullets left, you need to reload, you're out of ammo, is 2.4 seconds. That is a lot of time, especially if you're in the middle of a firefight. But, if you have at least one bullet left in the chamber, you can have the reload speed of 1.85 seconds. Now, that may not seem like a lot of a difference between the gun timing, but that is substantially a lot of time difference. Because it means that you are going to have basically a whole second before your reload time. So that whole second, you can either switch to your pistol or finish your reload if you have that one bullet. Take out the target, reload again, take out another target, and go and hide so you can reload properly. Now, the recoil on this gun is substantially, substantially high. The vertical recoil for this gun alone is .32, which means you're going to be climbing pretty substantial, so you have to learn how to control your gun's recoil. The left recoil, which means how much the gun pulls to the left, is .1, so it's very, very low. It's basically not even noticeable. But the recoil to the right is .3, which means it's going to be pulling to the right a lot more. And its recoil decrease is at 18, so which means within that .32 vertical recoil, 18% of that will decrease every time you pull the trigger, which is substantially nice because it means within three shots you're going to be going back to laser beam. And oh, the vertical no. first shot recoil is 2.2. That is a lot to have to control for that first shot. So if you're trying to burst shot people, you have to take your time on your shots, elsewise you're not going to be hitting your target with that third or fourth bullet. Now, what that means with the recoil, it means you have to pull down and slightly to the right to be able to hit your target and make sure that it's a laser beam to make, take them all out. Now, this gun has saved my life substantially a lot of times. And the best way that you can run with this weapon is the same way that I run with it. That Keep in mind, that does not mean that you have to run the same loadout that I run. Surprise, if you want to run it with a different loadout, go right ahead. If you're the kind of person that wants to run with a heavy barrel, go for it. But me personally, I run this gun with a flash hider and an angle foregrip. That makes it so that I have a lot more control over that vor vertical recoil and I'm not seen so that they can take me out. But I will be seen on the minimap. And we'll get to that part a little bit later in another episode. Anyways, this gun is substantially useful. I substantially suggest that you guys use it because especially when you're in close quarters, it helps out a lot. And if you're trying to take targets out in the distance, you can take them out as too well. Oh, one thing I forgot. Sights. Now, the sight that I preferably use is the Cobra sight. The Cobra sight is substantially amazing. Primarily because the Cobra sight can be seen sometimes during the Don't snow. And with this new coming patch that is supposed to be coming by the end of September, from what we understand, it's going to be making it so that the Cobra sight and things like that won't get blinded or blurred out when you're in the middle of a snowstorm or whatever on Operation Clusterfuck Mark 1. So, anyways, we've been rambling on long enough. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Hope you guys enjoyed the montage in the back of the commentary. If you did, please click that like button down below. If you didn't, click that dislike. I want to get you guys' input. And if you guys have any weapons you want me to review or specific loadouts, put them down in the comments down below. And if you want to stay tuned to more videos, click that subscribe button. I have a lot more videos coming out and a lot more awesome stuff coming out. Anyways, rambling on again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Dragon Hunter, heading out.